Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been like two weeks. I'm sorry, but I've been like super busy at work. If you are new here, my name is Shauna. This is a fashion channel. I would say 95% fashion, office fashion, because I do work on Monday to Friday, nine to five. Um, weekend fashion, how to, haul, style tips, you name it. I've probably created a video about it. Today is going to be a little bit different, a little bit different. I've done this video before, favorite purchases for the month, but um, I don't think there's any fashion on this list at all. And that's probably because I haven't really been shopping for clothes. I'm done with winter. I live in New York, it's snow outside, I'm over winter. I'm not purchasing anything else for winter unless it's like on my list and I absolutely, absolutely wanted it and I know I'm gonna be able to wear it next year. But other than that, I'm not purchasing anything else for winter. I am in spring mode. If you are with me, please let me know in the comments. Um, I know not everybody lives in New York, but I, I see we're getting snow like everywhere. If you live in Texas or you know somebody in Texas, please check on them. Um, I'm praying for you to stay safe because Texas is really going through it right now. Um, and it's hard for states that are not prepared for winter like New York. I, I feel like we have like a little bit of an advantage because we have four seasons, including snow, but some of these states that never get snow and then they see it, it's like scrambling trying to, you know, stay safe, prepare, recover. And I feel like we don't need anything else. And we don't need anything else in this world, honestly. We are like just all recovery pandemic out. Um, so I'm going to get into this video. We're going to get into the first thing, which is funny that I'm saying this first as a favorite purchase because I haven't even opened it yet because I am not sure if I'm going to return it or keep it. So Google Nest Hub Max. That's what it's called. This is the big one. So I know there are a few of them. This is the big one. Why I haven't opened this yet, because I'm really trying to compare this to Alexa. And I don't know which one is better. I really don't. If you have um, Google Nest or if you have Alexa, please let me know in the comments which one you love. Maybe I'll do like a poll or something because I haven't opened it. I purchased this for someone for Christmas um, by the time I was ready to give it to them, they already had purchased an Alexa. So I ended up keeping this and saying I could just return it. But then I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll keep it for myself. I started watching some YouTube videos comparing the two and it's really hard to narrow down which one is best. Um, I am a YouTube girl, obviously. So I know Google, YouTube, you know, together. So I thought that this would be good for that. But I'm also like an Amazon Prime girl. I love Amazon and ordering from Amazon. And I think that would be really good for Alexa. So... I'm stuck in between a rock and a hard place. I may just keep this one and then end up purchasing a small Alexa and just having it in the house. I don't know, but I haven't opened this. Um, some of the some of the features of this, I believe if they have it here, um, family stays in sync with video calls. I don't really have any family that has this. You can keep an eye on things at home with a built-in Nest Cam. I don't have a Nest Cam. I live in an apartment. Um, but the personalized notification answers from Google, the how-to videos from YouTube, TV videos, it's a 10-inch screen, it's HD, it has speakers, um, and you can have your Google, your photos like right into Google Photos and put it on here. And I've started using Google to um, Photos and then Google Drive because I have a lot of pictures and videos and I think Google is the best way to store them. I'm not a fan of the cloud because I feel like it's just still on your phone and I need them to be off my phone in someplace else. Um, so that's number one. It's not a favorite yet. I, I love that I got it, but I just don't know what to do with it if I'm gonna keep it or return it. So I would love your help. Alexa or Google Nest. Alexa or Google Nest. I would love your help in which one I should keep. Second is well, this is, these are clothes, tank tops. 
So I'm not sure if you guys watched Michael, Malcolm and Marie on Netflix. I wasn't a fan of it. I'm just gonna put that out there. I wasn't a fan. So I, it's not like I watched the whole thing. I, it, it really like just was upsetting to watch and very like just toxic. Um, and maybe I just didn't get it. Um, anyone who loved it, great, but I just wasn't a fan. But I was into the tank top and underwear that were worn throughout the majority of the video. And I found out where they're from. They're American Eagle. I ordered a small order. I got it and I loved it. And then I placed a larger order. So if you are into tank tops or not into tank tops, but just looking into some, I would highly recommend these. I will, I've ordered three colors. I got five white, three black, and then I ordered just a splash of green because you know, I'm just, loving green nowadays and i'm probably going to do another order i also have the link to the underwear i ordered those as well very very good i'm not going to show them on or anything but um the underwear i would highly recommend and i will link them below if you're into like high waist kind of underwear which is what i'm into so just to give you a little bit of a close-up on these i'm sure it's going to be hard because it's a white but the quality of these are amazing 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 i love them love them love them nice rich quality i would highly rank this is probably the best tank top that i've ever had at a at an amazing price point which is a huge difference because there are some places that will have tank tops for $100. This is, um, the original price was 20, but it was some sort of sale. It wasn't $20 for it. So I will leave them linked below. Highly suggest getting them. They did go out of stock for a little bit and then they came back in stock. So um, I think these are like classic airy tank tops. So they're probably always gonna be there. It's just whether they're in stock or out of stock. And I think once um, it was pictured in that movie, I think they probably just sold out everywhere and now they have them restocked. So I will link them. Love them, love them, love them. I am probably gonna be donating my old tank tops and just replacing them all with these. That's how good they are but to sleep in. I mean, in the summertime, spring, you can wear them like under your blazer with your jeans. Love them, love them, love them. Um, next, it's a book. I've been reading this book, Atomic Habits. I'm currently in chapter six. So um, it's really not the book that's on the list. It's Audible books, just so you know. So I have a really nice book set up in my living room and I'm gonna pop up a picture showing you. I love just having books, the feel of them, seeing them there. I love books. So I'll always purchase books, um, but to be honest, it's hard for me to read a whole book from cover to cover. I've been getting the hard book, reading it, and then for times that I'm not able to read it, like I'm doing something in the house or I'm out driving in the car, I'll get the audible version and I will actually listen to it to kind of keep me into it and not allow me to not finish the book. So I am reading this. I also have the audible version. Um, Atomic Habits I'm reading because I am really trying to get in the habit of having a really good morning routine. That has been a huge, consistency alone has been a real, a real struggle point for me. I wake up early, I surf, you know, Instagram, YouTube, webs, whatever. I get like completely distracted. And next thing you know, I'm running to get up, throw something on, get in front of the cute computer to work or run out to actually go to work because I go in the office some days and then some days I work from home. So um, I'm reading this book, which I also would highly recommend to help me develop habits. And this is like amazing. If you're interested in like a longer talk about habits and just a morning routine, I can definitely do something like that because this is something that I've been working on for almost a month now. It takes time to break habits um, and it takes time to build habits. So it's been a while for me. I have been um, getting up at 5 a.m. for the past 21 days, not always getting out the bed, but opening my eyes at 5 a.m. and 
trying to get my day started. So it doesn't mean I'll get out of the bed at 5 a.m., but I'm at least able to get like an earlier start on my day. And for that, like I'm like super um, excited about, and I really want to become like one of those morning people. I really want to become one of those people that's just like up and bubbly and ready to go in the morning. So um, this book I would highly recommend. I'll link it below if anyone is interested in like getting some sort of morning routine together and um, honestly, it's a lot of amazing tips in this book. A lot of them. If you th really think you know about habits, you don't. This is an amazing book and I would highly suggest reading it. Um, next. So I haven't really done too much about skincare on this channel, but I get some questions about my skincare routine and I am willing to do like a dedicated video to it, but I just wanted to mention this facial that I had, which was really good. So I'm not sure if anyone has heard of Glow Bar, but I was invited there to get a facial. I got a facial and I really loved it. And I'm gonna tell you a few reasons why I like absolutely loved it. So for starters, the price was $65. So let me just put that out there. The price of the facial was $65. That's number one. Number two, it's a 30 minute facial. Great, because I really don't wanna lay down for like two hours or an hour and a half in the beginning. So I was happy with the price and I was happy with the length of time. Third, you don't tell them what type of facial you want. They do an assessment of your skin and have a conversation with you and then they develop something for you specifically which i loved because when it comes to like spas and any sort of like um what do they call them that do facials estheticians are they called estheticians i'm not sure but anyway when it comes to them um and these websites you got to go on and say what you want you have to go on and know oh, if I'm going to get a hydrofacial, I'm going to get this, I'm going to get that. You have to book these and I don't know. I don't know what I need. I don't know if I need an hour or 30 minutes or nothing or what, like, I don't really know what I need. So I hate to kind of have to go online and pick what I want first without actually meeting with someone, having them look at my skin and me talk about like the concerns that I have and then develop something for me. So that was number three. Number four, place was super clean. They talked me through everything and very friendly. So those are my four reasons why you should check out Glow Bar Facial. Um, not sponsored at all, but I, I mean, I got the facial as a compliment. They reached out to me, complimentary facial. I received a complimentary facial. They reached out to me and even if I didn't, like it would have been $65, which I think is like an amazing price for someone who is really not into facials. I probably did a facial um, two times in my entire life. Other than that, I buy my products. I buy them all, I buy a lot of them, and this was really good and an amazing price for someone to kind of like get their foot in the door. And you're able to do it like once a month. So $65, can't beat that can't be that so um next up and i now that i'm like talking i feel like this is self-care these are a lot of self-care purchases and like home purchases just things to like develop and better me and just make me more comfortable and that's kind of like the 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 shift period because we've been in the house for like a year Let's be honest. I mean, we've went out, you know, sure. But as far as like this pandemic has been going on for almost a year. And if you weren't comfortable at home in the beginning, I feel like everyone is kind of taking steps to make themselves more comfortable at home. They're doing their skincare routines longer, just taking time with themselves, showering, baths, um, the clothes, com comfortable pajamas, tank tops, like these are all things that we're doing to just be comfortable and feel good, honestly. And that brings me to the next favorite, which is my linen sheets from Brook Linen. <sighs> my Lord. First of all, they're not cheap number one. 
and I would in the beginning like honestly I would think like I'm not spending that much money on sheets but I would spend that much money on shoes I would spend that much money on a coat so why not spend that much money on sheets honestly like that's that's really how I look at it logic wise I lay on these sheets every night every night and they should feel good like it's important for your bedroom your bed to feel amazing that's where you rest that's where you recharge and I've had sheets before. like I would get like just TJ Maxx Marshalls whatever I would just get like some sheets from there and they were okay but laying on linen sheets it's like I, I don't ever want to go back I never want to go back I have two sets of sheets from Brooklinen I have like a cream and like um a, a very light like denim blue and then I have this amethyst color that I got for Valentine's Day ish month of February <sighs> listen I it's nothing I could say it's nothing I could say about it if you really want to be comfortable at night if you want to I fall asleep right away when I get in my bed right away like I put more effort into myself before I get into the bed because it's like I'm laying on linen sheets so I'm, I'm like taking the shower making sure I'm like all good and dolled up and you know whatever nice pajamas and I lay in these sheets and I am on cloud nine literally on cloud nine so if you are not happy with your sheets or if you're watching this video and you're like you know what it's time it is time. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown man. It is time for me to have some comfortable sheets. I want to lay in my bed and feel like I am laying on a beach somewhere with water blowing up. Like, I mean, whew. I almost want to lay down. I almost want to lay down right now. That's how much I love my sheets. So I have a code. Um, $25 off $100. I will leave the code and the link in the description box below. If you are interested, check it out. If you have linen sheets or you've slept on linen sheets or you've, you know, got sheets from Brooklinen before, whatever, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to hear how you feel about linen sheets. Um, everybody that I know loves them. Everybody that I know. They're like, what took you so long? And I'm like, I never knew, I never knew. I was so busy buying coats and shoes and blazers, you know? But, um, yes, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh my God. I'm looking at my bed right now. I love it, I love it. <sighs> okay. Um, so, next up, keeping it skincare focused and me time focused, is my clean skin club towels and let me talk to you about these towels i'm gonna get a box hold on the sun is like shining and then it goes away then it's shining then it goes away so like i don't even know what the light's gonna look like in this video but um hopefully it's good so let me turn you a little bit this way yeah maybe a little bit this way we'll see um, so these are the Clean Skin Club towels. And $15 a box. I have a coupon. Um, my name, Simply Shauna, gives you 20% off your order. So I'm gonna tell you something. I switched to Clean Skin Club towels about a little over a year ago, and I'm gonna tell you why. So, and that's like been the biggest difference in my skin honestly it's that's been the biggest difference I use a lot of products but um, I've always used a lot of products so I know that the difference with the products being more effective are the towels so let me show you what they look like this is one and I hope that the light doesn't mess it up but this is one it's a dry cloth and it's designed uh, two-sided one side is like an exfoliating side it's like a little bit raised and the other side is more like a smooth side you can use both sides I use both sides every time I wash my face and it's designed to replace a washcloth it's that simple I was using washcloths and when I see people do this I like cringe I was using a washcloth 
to wash my face every day. And I probably would switch out my washcloths like maybe every three days or so. And then I heard about the bacteria that's trapped in washcloths. Yuck. So when you use a washcloth on your face, so even if you wash your face, um, then you wet your washcloth and you wipe your face. The purpose of a washcloth is to trap bacteria. That's what you're doing. You're removing dirt from your face. Even if you wash your face with your, your um, cleanser and then you using your washcloth to dry your face and pat it dry or whatever, you are removing bacteria, dead skin, whatever, from your skin. That's what you're doing. Now, what probably 90% of us, and including myself, was doing after that is I would rinse the washcloth out with water, so it's not cleaning it. I would rinse it out with water, fold it up, hang it up, right? So the bacteria is hanging on that towel because I'm not cleaning it. When, I, when you rinse your washcloth with water, you're not cleaning it. You're just wetting it. And I would hang it up in the bathroom. Now we know the bathroom and the kitchen are like the dirtiest places in the house. We know that. Yes, we clean them, but we know that they're still the dirtiest places in the house. That, the doorknobs. So I would hang that washcloth up at night and then I would get up in the morning and I would wash my face and I would grab that same washcloth with that same bacteria and I would wet it and put it on my face again. Then hang it back up to dry. And then at night, I would use that same washcloth. So now that dirty bacteria that has been living on that washcloth, I am adding back onto my skin over and over and over and over again. Someone asked me, can you use a bounty? Yes, you can. This, you can use a bounty. I don't think a bounty is as durable um, as this. This is like super durable. Like you can't do this with a bounty. It will rip. You hear it. You cannot do this with a bounty. You can wet it. It still stretches. It will not break. And a bounty don't have two sides, honey. So this part, and this part, you won't have that with a bounty. So, and I feel like a bounty leaves a little bit of like residue and it's harsh. This for some reason is not harsh. Like I, I don't even know how to describe it, but it is really good. It is biodegradable for those that are concerned with the environment. It is biodegradable and it's a lot more like positives to it. I will leave them in the description box below. And to just show you how much I love them this is I, I just read up I just re upped I just re upped and I ordered 12 12 boxes because if you order more the more you order the you save more so instead of me ordering a single like you can order I think a three pack or a six pack so I think I did like two six packs and I got like a really good deal um, using the code 20% off. So $15 a box is like, just if you wanna like order one and just try it out, I would suggest trying it out. Everybody in my family that I've given a box to as like a gift, now order their own. Everybody, everybody. No one I have given this to have been like, these are not working for me. I don't like it. Everyone loves it. So I would highly suggest them. There are some other good things on the site too, but I stand behind the towels. 150% stand behind the towels. So if you have any skincare issues at all, any skincare issues at all, I would highly suggest ordering one box. A box lasts about a month because it's 50 towels in each box. $15 for 50 towels. Um, with the 20% off, so it comes out to a little bit cheaper. But um, I would suggest trying that just for like the first box. Just get one box, try it out, um, my code doesn't expire, so it's gonna be there, you know, as long as you want, it's gonna be there. So don't worry about, oh, the code's gonna expire. I think the Brooklinen code expires at the end of this month, I believe. Um, so that code, there's a limit on, but the uh, Clean Skin Club, they said that that code is just gonna be there. So I can continue to give it out if anybody wants to purchase. So if you use them already and you're aware of it, definitely let me know in the uh, comment box below. If you are gonna try them and you have any skincare issues, I would definitely, you know, let me know if you try them so that way I could 
you know, do another video and maybe do another check-in if you purchase them. And um, what else? I feel like this video is getting kind of long. <laughs> um, okay, a few more things and these are home things. So my Nutribullet my Nutra bullet. So let me tell you something funny. I got a Nutra bullet from my brother as a housewarming gift when I moved here. Um, about a year or so after I moved here. So it wasn't like right away. And at some point I thought that it wasn't working and I put it away. So fast forward to last year, I got a new Nutra bullet from Bloomingdale's. They had a sale and I'm like, before I open this new one, let me pull open the old one just to see, you know, what was wrong with it. Cause I don't really remember what was wrong with it. Why the old one work? And I've been using the old one. And listen, I struggled with like being healthy. I eat, but I'm not like very consistent with like imbalance when it comes to like my diet. The Nutribullet, I love and what I really love is that I buy the frozen fruit I don't get the regular fruit because it's gonna rot I'm just gonna be honest with you it's gonna rot so I get the frozen mangoes the frozen pineapple the frozen strawberries I keep them in the freezer and I make my smoothies that way I buy the spinach from the grocery store I just usually get like a big bag of spinach and I use almond milk because any other milk just would throw my stomach for a loop so I use almond milk, I buy um, granola, like the peanut granola, and I put that in there. Here and there I throw a date in there. And listen, I love it, I love it, I love it. It's a part of my morning routine. Even when I'm going out to work, I make the smoothie, leave it in the container, and just grab my straw and sip it on the way to work. And by the time I get into my parking space, I'm usually like finished with it seal it up, I leave it in the car, and then when I'm coming back home, I take it out to clean it or whatever. I cannot recommend a Nutribullet enough to anyone. Like I would highly suggest getting one um, just to help you be healthy. Honestly, that's really what it's doing for me. Like in the morning I get up, I make my tea, um, and when I'm leaving out the house, I throw a quick smoothie. And it's, it's all like the frozen fruit, almond milk, the spinach, granola, I mean, it's amazing. And I still haven't opened the new box. I'm still using the old one. So I'm gonna use that until the wheels fall off. And then if the wheels do fall off, then I will open up the new one. But uh, again, this is a part of self-care, me time, taking care of me. So I would highly suggest a Nutribullet or some sort of blender or, you know, a lot of people use different things. They use Ninja, Nutribullet, whatever it is that you wanna use. Um, if you use something different, drop it in the comment section below because, um, you know, we all share. This is like a sharing, you know, community. So I'm anxious to see what other people are using besides that one. I have the single use Nutribullet because it's just me. Um, but I know some people do a lot of different things with their Nutribullet, the protein powders and things like that. And at some point I'm going to get to that level. But right now I'm enjoying just feeling very healthy. I also have like a reusable kind of straw too. So. I'm really like trying to do what I gotta do for the environment as much as I can. Not like a environmentalist nut, but I'm really trying to do what I can for the environment. Um, next are two home updates and I think I'm gonna have to like pick you up and show you the updates. So if you've subscribed to my channel for a while, I did a couple of uh, apartment updates video and I talk about my home office. I can't stress this enough. If you are working from home due to the pandemic, I would highly, highly suggest getting you a space for you to work. It is very hard to work on the couch for eight hours, honestly. I was getting nothing done. I was very frustrated. My body just felt just uncomfortable. So I would highly suggest getting you a space or if you're setting up a space in the living room or in the dining table or whatever, definitely getting you a second monitor. The monitor is clutch. I paid maybe $120 for this at Best Buy during a Black Friday deal and I love it. I am so upset that I didn't get this set up sooner. I would have been so much more productive at home. I love having an office area 
And now, honestly, no matter where I go, I need an office area. What apartment, house, whatever, I'm gonna need an office area because I just feel so much more productive working in an office area versus like being on the couch or being in the bed. So um, that's my Instagram. <laughs> if you don't follow me, simply Shauna. Um, and that's it. This little contraption thing here is just something that I use for extra light if I'm on like a Zoom. That's my laptop. This is my iPad. These flowers I got from um, HomeSense. I have these here and I got like a little bit in the bedroom, a little bit in the living room. Just some fake flowers that I bought, but I feel like it just, it does it for me, honestly. Like I really love just looking at flowers, whether they're alive or not. I love just looking at flowers, so I decided to um, split it up and have those there. And the next and last purchase, let me cut the light on here, is this here. Oh, so I did a home, uh, like a home decor kind of vlog. That was my last or second to last video. I'll link it below. And I told you guys that I had ordered this bookshelf from Wayfair and I was, it had come, but I needed someone to help me put it together. So it's together now and I love it, love it, love it. I don't think this will be the final, final setup, but this is just how it looks like right now. So I followed someone on Instagram who had a bar slash bookshelf kind of thing. And I was like, you know what? I should do that because I don't really have enough liquor to make a bar. Um, and I had books I needed space for that. And I didn't want to put a bookshelf and a bar area in the living room because I felt it would be too cluttered. So I got this and I love it. This was um, under 300. I'll link it in the description box below. It's real wood. Um, which I wasn't expecting, but when I saw the comments, I'm like, you have to be kidding me. Real wood, it looks beautiful in person. It feels amazing. Um, so up here, I just got like, you know, a little set of liquor here, my candles, and just some box to the flowers there that I was talking about, and a little painting in the back. Um, not sure if I'm gonna keep that set up there, but it's there. Um, here, this shelf, I got my books. I told you guys I love just the look and feel of books I love. Um, so these are a lot of books that I've ordered, um, just following people, them recommending it, uh, quite a few that I've read, some that I haven't read yet. This I got from HomeSense. I just, you know, I thought it was April Easter. Let me just get that, it looks good. Then I have a few more bottles of liquor on this side. And then I got um, some more books here. So I know you guys probably know about the Tom Ford and the Louis Vuitton book. These are really like decor books and I got them from TJ Maxx um, or in Marshalls. I think one from each for uh, a really good price. So I will leave these linked. I think they are available on Amazon, but a lot of people use them as like decoration. So that's really what I wanted for them, them to be like decoration. So I love how it's set up there. The bottom shelf, I'm just storing like some things there because I don't really know what to do yet. Um, and that's it. This is going to be the end um, love this entire setup and I, I just love, oh my God, let's talk about it a little bit more. I love the, this, they said this is like a really, really dark blue, like a blue black and not a black, but it goes perfect with my gray sofa sectional. So great, great, great. Um, quick tour of the living room, just you know, just in case anyone hasn't seen my other videos, I'll just show you my living room. This sectional is from Raymore and Flanagan. The pillows are from um, HomeSense, Marshalls. You know, just I've just picked up these pillows throughout the time. The light fixture is from um, Raymore and Flanagan, but I think they have it at Wayfair. I could link it below. Um, the coffee tables are from Raymore and Flanagan, and I got these curtains recently. I'm gonna switch out the shades probably to like a white color but I'm not sure how white on white will look, but I got these shades, um, blinds, no, curtains from HomeSense and the curtain rod from, I think, TJ Maxx. And I think that's it. More to come on home decor. Um, you know, it's definitely not a overnight thing. It really takes time. Um, sorry for the getting blurry. It really takes time when it comes to home decor. So working on a lot of things and I think that's it guys, I'm gonna end it here. You guys have a wonderful week. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, follow me on Instagram, Simply Shauna. And I think that's it. I think that's it. I will see you guys next time. Have a wonderful week.